Get in, nerds. We are playing Victoria 3. We are still working on getting Moldavia into the faction, but I think we're actually super duper close. Um, or into the faction. So this is an Arts of Iron 4. Into the power block. We're trying to get it into our power block. And soon, we'll be able to get Wallachia in as well. I might just have to fight Wallachia, but I. I, I Wallachia, but I, I would hope not to. Because um, I want to save that infamy. I want to take over Kiva. Um, Kokhand is also a target. Ooh. Nationalizes all building properties. Interesting. There's Golden Kamchatka, so that's neat. Um, how much would it take for me to just conquer it? 15.8 infamy. All right, that's a ways away. Um, you'll notice we've also got a Consolidate Central Asian Holdings uh, mission here. The region of Central Asia has long been out of our control, run by disparate Khanates and Emirates. In order to secure the access to India, we must ensure the Central Asian states are subjugated, whether as subjects or through direct conquest. That's going to require us to get Kokand, all the territory held by Kiva, and all of uh, Trichmenia, which we are now currently colonizing. Um, I'm probably going to keep it at level 1 colonization for the moment, because I don't have hardly any bureaucracy, but that's something I'm going to have to build up. I've got a plenty of places to build up bureaucratic capacity, so we'll, uh, we'll have plenty to do on that front. So, let's take a look. Perfect. Alright. Moldavia can now be brought into the faction. Gimme. 98% chance they'll accept. Let's find out. Beautiful. Alright, so they're now in our faction, which means we've got trade access to Wallachia. So, what does the Wallachian market need? It needs liquor, fruit, engines, porcelain, luxury furniture, and clothing. So, we will just export uh, engines. Can't export. Can't reach the market. What do you mean? We're adjacent. No, Moldavia is in its own market. Wait, hold on. Oh, so is Greece. Oh, interesting. We can't subjugate Moldavia. Because they haven't been in here for five years. Oh, man. That's my B. I didn't even realize. Gorsh. Alright, that's okay. Um, we do want to... We, we, I think taking Dobruja is probably the best plan. Moldavia and Wallachia can form up into Romania as well. Um, later on, which would be better for us, obviously, because then both of them would be in our power block. So how many countries have we got in our power block now? Uh, there was ten. Alright, so that means we can unlock our new principle. So we'll need to take a look at our options for that once the time comes, and that's going to be in 28 months, so just over a couple of years. Backroom dealings exposed. Gosh darn it. A stall event. Oh, there's a big stall chance. All right, because the landowners don't like this. Prominent members of the armed forces, outspoken supporters of professional army, and close allies of Pavel Nakhimov have been exposed to a corruption scandal, having exchanged political favors for personal gifts. All it took was one aide, one boy squeezing acting from his face in the right place at the right time to overhear the howling laughter, smell the rich tobacco plant, and spot Pavel Nakhimov's new golden cufflinks. One honest fellow's word to the right ears, and it was all uncovered. So, such is the nature of politics, minus 15% enactment chance, or throw them to the wolves and misclean up this mess, minus 10% enactment chance, bureaucracy penalty. Uh, or we can derive some benefit by participating ourselves. I'm not going to do this, the third one. That's going to give me a setback, and all it's going to give me is enactment time out of it. I'm going to throw them to the wolves. That's going to goof up my bureaucracy, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and build some more bureaucracy. Where do we have cash to recover? Tula is one... A very large uh, target for bureaucratic improvement. How much infrastructure do we have? Not as much as I would like. So, we'll go ahead. How short 
taxation capacity were very, very short. All right, so let's go ahead. We're building a railway here already. Uh, where, how close is it to done? Uh, not as close as I would like. So we'll get started on that. And then we will queue in. Let's do five levels of government admin in Tula. And we'll do six. That'll be plenty. It's not uh, perfect, but it's close enough for government work. Um, we'll put everything else down below. Let's get this railway in Tuva closer to being built. All right, and then these mines in Wallachia are in the process of being built. So what, what kind of leverage have we got over Wallachia now? 89. Hmm. Interesting. So this is... That's their native leverage. All right, cool. Imperial Circle. Imperial Circle. That's France, right? Yes, that is the French power block. Interesting. It's a trade league. Neat. Very interesting. So what's it going to take for us to take over Kiva? Um, we got one, two, three states. This one's going to be six infamy. Uh, okay. uh, Karazmia, six infamy. Turkmenia, 1.6 infamy. And then uh, Merv, 4.2. So 4.2, 1.6, 5.8 total, plus six is 11.8, plus two extra for adding to the primary war goal, 14.8. All right, so we're going to need to get to below um, 10 infamy, basically. There's more gold in Amur. That's delightful. I love it when there's gold. Gold! No more gold mine capacity, but that's fine. Finances are doing pretty solid. We got 7 million pounds in the pot which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, Got to get the barracks up to general training. Let's see, for tech, working on triage, then we're going to shell gun and breach loading artillery. That's going to be a big shot in the arm um, militarily. Interesting. What's our prestige like? Oh, that's right. Great Britain's fallen to second in prestige in the world. I wonder why. Just bonuses from technology and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And our prestige continues to increase. We could probably... No, I can't afford to get too buckwild over here with the... Uh... Ooh. Colonization of Krasmi is complete. Very good. A lot of progress to consideration. Wonderful. And that means we can colonize Turkmenia. As well. Um, so this is very good. We're very nearly there. Um, I'm going to... Do we have trade routes bringing ammo in? We don't. So what's going on with this stuff? Why are our ammunition plants not producing what they need to produce? Unable to hire. Well, gosh darn it. Why are you unable to hire? You're profitable. Not profitable enough, I guess. You Kursk. Is there... Not a lot of labor. There's plenty of labor available in Kursk. Curious. Very curious. Right. So, in any case, uh, coverage of Wallachia is still at 89.
Sadly, I can't build government buildings here, because they could really use that. But I could build other stuff. And there's no... Invite to... We've already got them in the power block. Start funding lobbies. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Um, I can't bring them into the customs union, aside from by basically subjugating them. Hmm. Curious. We'll see. Although I guess I can subjugate them through the power block once that option becomes available in five years. So that should be fine. Let's see. Oh, I've got low leverage over Persia. That's interesting. I wonder why. Does that matter? I don't think they can leave the power block as long as they're subjugated. So... But that's interesting. I wonder if I can build up... So they are in our market right now. I wonder if I can build up... Um, stuff in there. They've definitely got a lot of capacity for plantations and things that I would like to have a lot of. So let's see. What do we need? What do we need in Persia? Hmm. Hmm. We've got tons of silk. Hold on. I can get our, our industries using that silk for better stuff. There we go. How much silk have we got now? If I completely outrun our ability to... Oop. Am I crazy? I've completely forgotten the icon. Alright, here we go. So we're good on silk for now. Um, popular playwright endorses reform. In the midst of the debate surrounding professional army, one of the country's leading playwrights, strongly associated with the armed forces, has staged a widely acclaimed play whose politically laden theme makes no secret of the author's desire for the law to be passed. The man's viewpoints may be somewhat partisan, but sir, you cannot argue with his prose. Professional army will be on everyone's lips now, 10% enactment chance. Sharper to the armed forces in a good light, 10% strength for the armed forces. Now let's ensure the play gets a wider international audience, 20 prestige. I'm going with the first one. This one is only for five years now. Um, so we're going to get our 10% enactment chance back, and that'll be nice. Getting real short on authority. I could I could repeal an, a uh, consumption tax. This one on tobacco is not producing hardly any revenue. Um, ditto the one on luxury furniture, actually. Oop. I can remove that. One on liquor is all right. All right, moving right along here. What else do we want in the customs union? What are what's what's expensive? Any any plantation goods expensive? I guess clothing's expensive. Um, this is a little shocking. So nothing dyes are cheap. Oh, I bet we don't have. And we're on dye workshops and craftsman sewing. Lombardy? We own factories in Lombardy, huh? That's wild. Hmm. Very interesting. So there's triage. That's nice. Uh, I'm definitely going to activate that for my armies. That's going to cost tools and cloth, but it's going to increase their recovery rate. Um, and what have we got a lot of in our market? Because I can add sugar, tobacco, liquor, or opium inputs to make these things easier. I've got... I'll definitely add liquor. That's dirt cheap. And sugar, too. Cool. And what about tobacco? How's tobacco? Tobacco is also dirt cheap in the market. Lovely. And opium is somewhat expensive. Everyone likes opium. I must have an obsessed pot type. Uh, in any case, bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Look at that cost difference. It's like nothing. Yeah, it's, it's like 1.7 to 2.5. It's like 30%. It's like nothing. 
We'll do all these. Keeping high morale output is very good. Nope. Did the start at the top. Smart. All right. Dabrowski's flight. Captain Yaroslav Dabrowski, a former artillery officer arrested for sedition, has escaped detainment in Siberia. His captors believe he's fleeing, fleeing south. It is truly patriotic to oppose a tyrant. Is it truly patriotic to oppose a tyrant who dictates a beloved homeland? Or is it only a self-indulgent treason? A fine question that ought to be answered if only there was time to stop and rest. South somewhere, anywhere south of Moscow would be the right time. But now, the Tsar's hounds were in the way. Find him before he spreads his treason. treason. Um, he'll be returned to a much harsher prison. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, let the vastness of Russia claim him. He was a political martyr and gains popularity. He's exiled. Or he is Poland's problem now. Um, he appears in Russia. So, you see, you're an armed forces reformer, agitator. You're not one of these guys. Or maybe you are. You are one of these guys. Uh, that's fine. Um, uh, Yaroslav Dabrowski. Yaroslav Dabrowski. I, I do. I want him in here. Professional army is a thing that's good for me. Um, does. What does this do? I don't want him exiled. Uh, so, let's do the first one. All right, so he gets pulled out of this movement. All right, interesting. Um, I didn't know what that was going to mean, but that's all right. Feared but not loved. Prussia owing us an obligation be, could be used to request a propaganda campaign, making the world see our nation in a more pleasant light. It is well for a nation to be respected, feared even, but we can tr but can we truly expect them to support us in the future if the most uh, Prussian children grow up hearing stories about how we will eat them if they don't behave? Everyone should remember how we came to their aid. Uh, in a week, They, if they accept, uh, our infamy will go down by ten. Or why, when we are a nation to be feared? I'm going to do the first one. Um, getting infamy down is very good. Um, and in a week, if our infamy goes down, we can kick off uh, more aggressions in Kiva. Uh, and then we can go after Kokan eventually. I might go after Kokan just to knock it out, frankly. Because um, Kokan is a huge... Hey, they said yes. Wonderful. Mm. That's excellent. Cool. Well, Kokan, how many armies have you got? Virtually none. Time to fight. We'll just mobilize one army and place them on the front. Shouldn't be that much of an issue. That puts us up to 20 infamy. So it'll be some time before we can go after Kiva, but, you know, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Still working on getting these government admins built, and we're building up a railway in Tuva. How much labor is there available in Tuva for other stuff? 17k. Maybe about 12k. I can build two more buildings once the... Uh, Railway is finished. You know, you could use some iron mines. Do they have tooling industry? They do. You could use some iron mines. We'll build one level of iron mines in Tuva. Tuva. So Chitral, that's going to take a real heavy aggression. Oh, I should have gone after, uh, after Pashtunistan. I wasn't thinking about it. I still kind of want the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom in my faction. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see how things go. I do. I definitely want to get Tuva. Uh, can I... We're only cordial right now. Oh, right, because I just... Kicked off a diplomatic Uzi box sets. Bureaucratic Imbroglio, another stall event. Lawmakers working towards the enactment of professional army have found themselves mired in a particularly complex set of bureaucratic proceedings, grinding the work towards reform to a near halt. 
The fully developed bureaucratic apparatus compares with the other organizations exactly as does the machine to the non-mechanical modes of production. That is to say, the teeth of its individual gears meet in accord, or its gears will gnash and churn until it eventually breaks. I can say damn this labyrinthine legal system, plus 20% enactment time, minus 10% enactment chance, or cut through at least some of the red tape, only plus 10% enactment time, but minus 10% bureau 5% bureaucracy, and 10% of bureaucrat pops and ingredient become more radical. You know I'm going to do the second one. Kablam. I'm just going to need to build more government admin, which I'm already currently doing. So, I got six levels queued in here. I might make six levels more. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Where else do I need to build up government admin? Uh, Tombov. Over here. How much capacity have we got? Uh, infrastructure 63. We're definitely going to need a level of railways here, which we are currently building. Um, so let's throw in six levels of government admin. We definitely will benefit from six levels of government admin. And let's take a look at where in the queue. Okay, Tombov is here. So that should be just fine. Move the iron mines in Tuva up as well. Let's see. Put that there. And then we'll get these government admins up here. And pull that down. Order is very important for the construction queue. Maybe not as important as I make it out to be, but it definitely is. I could put more levels in government construction. Hold on, how much are we getting from Prussia at this point? Because it's been a couple of episodes. I'm getting 57k from them. So actually, we're we're not as in the black as it feels like we are, but we're, you know, we're close. We're close. Oop. On Rampire sides with the hedge over here. Two arms. So this should finish out Kokand, and that'll be nice. Um, we've got an army with no troops in it. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe we'll disband it. Or maybe we won't. Um, let me see. I was going to... Uh, that's right. I was going to build a paper company. So let's... Where is that? For extra bureaucracy. Where's my paper company? Am I dumb? Did I pass it? Paper conglomerate of Russia. Ooh, canneries. That's actually very good. Um, I need an incorporated state with five levels. Don't I have five levels of paper mills somewhere? In Mazovia. Oh, I need to own them, and these ones are owned by... Is Mazovia not incorporated? It's not. Oh my goodness, I did it done. All right, Novgorod. Novgorod is definitely incorporated. Yes. All right, we're going to build up one more level of paper mills in Novgorod, and then we're going to not be faffing about with that so much. I'm going to put that one all the way at the top. It's our top priority. Beautiful. There's Shellgun. Um, these three trade routes are not going to matter in a minute because Kokand is going to be no more. So you can just go ahead and get rid of them. Um, we are importing sugar from somewhere we don't need to be importing sugar from. Uh, Kiva. Quit doing that. And we're exporting iron to the Heavenly Kingdom. We can quit doing that. We're also exporting artillery to the Heavenly Kingdom. We can quit doing that as well. Beautiful. And this war is basically completely over. So. Uh, that should be the end of Kokand. So then soon we can go after Kiva. And then once we've finished colonizing Turkmenia, we'll be good to go. Speaking of colonization, how f close are we to quinine? We're not that far. Let's start working on colonies in, there we go, in Africa. 
I grabbed this territory from Oman. Oman doesn't like me because I stole their ter territory in Persia, but I was going to give it back to the Persians, so, you know, it's kind of, kind of sensible. There's some production methods there. What are these? All right, Discord within the Orthodox Church. An influential faction within the Orthodox Church has grown frustrated with their co-members' neutrality on the topic of professional army. Themselves in favor of the law, they've now resolved to form a separate political faction intent on passing it. How can you all stand idly by and watch the world pass before your eyes? Have you no sense of honor, of duty to your fellow man? I say nay to such lack of ambition, and I dare say I am not alone in this. With their support, the bill shall pass, or the armed forces extend an open hand to these mavericks. I'm just going to take the first one. Um, this one I can reduce their uh, interest group uh, power more and increase the power of the armed forces, uh, but get less enactment chance. This one's keep it closer to balanced, but get more enactment chance. So I'm going to go with the first one to get more enactment chance. We're doing really solid here. We only got 17% stall chance, 65% pass chance, and 17% advance chance. So I'm feeling overall really confident in my ability to get that law passed. How's our leverage over Wallachia? Not as good as I would like. Uh, I would love to... But what if, and hear me out, I conquered Dobruja. Dobruja is not that much to conquer. And if I conquer Bulgaria, 16.4. But if I liberated Bulgaria and pulled them into my and made them a protectorate or something, then I could get a, then I could get adjacent to Syria, and that would put them uh, that would let me put them in my market, which would be really nice. So you don't I don't necessarily want to pull Greece into the uh, uh, I don't want to have Greece as a protectorate necessarily right now, because I'm pretty close to having another principle available, and I don't want to tank my cohesion, because reduced uh, mandate progress and leverage generation is real rough. The Anti-French League demands action. And that we dissolve our trade agreement. Uh, this is not in our interests. Stop it. Get some help. Um, plus, I would please the Anti-Ottoman Association. I... Things are rough. Things are rough and complicated. Maybe I just need to improve my uh, explosives industry, and that will help me get the ammunition I need. It's funny, I own a bunch of explosives factories in a lot of different areas. Um, let's build some a little closer to our industrial base. Yaroslavl's got a million people in it. Close to a million uh, people not working the types of jobs that I want them to be working. All right, there's that paper mill finished. So let's see if we can't found that company. Uh, it shouldn't be in potential companies. It should be in available companies. Uh, here we go. Paper conglomerate of Russia. 10% bureaucracy. Let's do it. So is the company growing in prosperity? No. Not productive enough. Alright, well, we'll try and sell some paper abroad then. Um, paper is heckin' expensive. Can we export it to anyone? We can export it to Austria. Um, let's go ahead and move to... I think after breech-loading artillery, we'll get uh, chemical bleaching in there. We'll get bleach loading paper mills, <laughs> and then uh, we'll be good to go. So in preparation for that, let's go ahead and build up some more dye plantations in Persia. Because I know Persia's got some capacity for dye plantations. Um, let's see. Isfahan has a lot of labor available. Karaman, Tabriz, Kurdistan, Urmia, Iraqi Kajmi, obviously, that's the capital. Nuristan. All right, so we'll put uh, three levels in Iraqi Kajimi and three levels in Isfahan, and that'll be nice. All right, devout scandal. 
It's re been revealed that Yakov Nikolsky of the Orthodox Church, a traditionalist, has been having a secret affair with a member of the clergy. His resignation is being demanded. The fact that this sneaky bastard thought he could get away with such a gross misuse of his power shows everything wrong with the leadership of the Orthodox Church. The people must know of his depravity, minus 50 popularity, or ignore it, minus 25% popularity. Um, yeah, we'll just give him minus 25%. I, I can ignore it. He's a church. He's a good churchy boy. He's a good churchy boy. We wouldn't want anyone to think he's, you know, doing, sneaking about and doing stuff. Anti-Russian League formed in Austria. I don't like that. But Austria is a friend. The petite bourgeois are causing me a problem. They're unhappy. Why are y'all unhappy? We should change to colonial resettlement. Oh, because they're boys and moralists. Uh, a, 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 a pacifist. Well, that's all right. Um, xenophobia. We're reducing our influence. Well, that's a shame. All right. That having said, uh, that is all the time we've got for tonight. I've had fun. I hope you all have had fun, and I'll see you on the other side.